You hear the screeching of an owl You hear the wind begin to howl You know there's zombies on the prowl And it's terror time again They've got you running through the night It's terror time again And you just might die of fright It's a terrifying time Hello everyone, today on this episode of the Beginner's Guide, we continue touring the map and we head over to the sleepy little town of Riverside, an unassuming area that holds plenty of potential for those in the know for all the nice loose spots, and that's about to be you. Before we dive in, I'd like to ask you to support the content with a like, comment about the video or the game, tell me your zomboid war stories, and subscribe for more guides, mod reviews, and more. Now let's begin today's video. This area is often a spawning point, and what's really interesting about this area isn't the trailer park itself, but the storage units, gas station, factory, and car repair shop all located in the same area. This little area is packed with a lot of value, and it's worth clearing out if you can manage it. The storage units themselves actually make a rather solid base due to the fact it's surrounded by high fences all around, and with only two actual entrances into the lot itself, Replace these entrances with solid walls and you've got yourself a large impregnable base that'll keep the hordes out. Couple this with the fact the storage unit's a great spawning ground for all sorts of loot, including generators, along with the previously mentioned surrounding areas, you've got some real potential for the long haul. A cozy little club, a place for those posh, hoity-toity, rich assholes who just sit around playing golf all day. Well, this is the apocalypse, and all those assholes are now munched on. So it's a good opportunity for us to move in and live up the good life while we can, eh? Loaded with food, liquor, many ponds and lakes to fish from, and a few nice surrounding homes, this luxurious area tucked away to the south of town is a nice little place to base up away from the hordes. It's also located fairly close to the first area I mentioned, making it a short drive or hike away and granting access to that boon as well. The best thing this place has going for it though is definitely its remote nature. It being a fair distance from the main town means less zombies just shambling into your area. Located on the northern end of town, by the river itself, is this fairly large hotel. While too open and exposed for my taste as a long-term base, it does have a bar on the northern end, which can be an excellent source of booze, both for making molotovs and having a nice drink to take the edge off in a bad situation. The building can also provide a plentiful source of things to dismantle, a pool which can be used to collect water, and even fish if you want to be extra silly. And if you're lucky, the wardrobes in the rooms can often spawn bags, which are always a nice thing to have. This is where the majority of business is located in Riverside. If you're looking for hardware supplies, books, drugs, food, or clothing, this is where you'll find it. But be wary, as this being the main street of the town, it'll be crawling with opposition. If you're able to clear this place out, however, you'll be able to really stock up and take as much as you need to get a head start on your main base or restock said main base. Personally, my highest priority is usually the hardware store. There's also plenty of parking lots located around that you can get a car from.
Located on the outskirts of the main town strip, there's a police station, a gas station, and a spiffle burger. Three great buildings to raid all in one convenient location. Stock up on food, weapons, fuel, some car tools if you're lucky, and maybe even a car. And because it's located on the outskirts and not the main part of town, there's often less zombies gathered here than on the strip, especially if you hit this area early into your survivor's run. Now this area is very interesting to me. You're surrounded by tall fences and large, prestigious, spacious houses. There's a lot to loot here, and if you play your cards right, you could turn it into a veritable fortress. And with as many different areas in this community, there's a wide variety of ways you could do it. Maybe wall off the five road entrances into the community itself, and take over the entire complex. Or maybe wall off the three smaller entrances on the community park, and build a home within the middle of the complex itself. There's a lot of possibilities for this little slice of heaven if you're able to put the work into it and keep a calm head in the chaos. Maybe bring a few friends for backup as well. But yeah, I like this location personally a lot. Two farmhouses located in the middle of the trailer park and the main town itself. This place can make a nice, isolated base that's not too far from either area when you need to head in and get some looting done. Both houses are large and spacious, with plenty of potential for starting your own farms. There's also a pair of tool sheds that can hold some valuable supplies, and if you get lucky, including generators. Couple these factors with the nearby woodlands that make for excellent foraging potential, and you've got a good place for the long haul. Well, this has been a pleasant tour of Riverside, and we covered some of the potentially useful places that you'll wish to hit at some point in your journey in this sleepy little slice of Americana, as well as some ideas and tips to make the best use of these holdouts. As I said, please be sure to support the video if you enjoyed it. This has been Core, and I'll see you in the next part.